Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a way that you can create something like lower thirds all within Caden Live, so without having to work in an external image editing program. Now, these are not gonna be the most elaborate lower thirds you've ever seen or ever created possibly. But if you're just looking for something relatively simple, a couple of uh, rows of text, something in the background, then uh, you can actually do all that using the title editor in Caden Live. So what I'm going to do in this, uh, I've set up my timeline here with a editing timeline I was working on uh, recently. And just for demonstration purposes, I have created something like the sort of lower thirds that I'm talking about. So if you take a look at my uh, folder here, I have some titles that I used for this video like this one. So to edit that I'm going to right click on the title and then I'm going to click on edit clip and you can see what I've done here. Now there's a little button at the bottom of the screen called show background. Personally I think anytime you're um, editing titles in Caden Live it makes it a lot easier to work against the background that's actually on your timeline instead of against the checkerboard background. And if you take a look at the title I've done here, it's simply a composite of two different objects. The first one here is a text object with the uh, title, and the second object is this uh, rectangle. Now, just for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm going to go and create a new lower third uh, for this video. So I'm just gonna move to a point in the timeline where there's just me here and nothing existing on the background, then I'm going to uh, create a title clip, and then I'm going to tick that show background option on so that I can see roughly how big I want my title to be in reference to my face or your face or the face of someone coming on in your studio. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple of lines of text again strictly for demo purposes. I'm going to say Mr. Uh, Presenter. Now, if you want to have a different font or a different font size or something different about the second line of text, what you have to do is click on the add text button again. If you're adding um, one text, you're, you're limited to one set of settings. So I'm going to do Mr. Presenter and let's say my uh, guest interview, okay? So I'm going to just be dragging this here. And again, because I'm trying to simulate something realistic here, I'm gonna just change the color of this uh, and move it into an italic font. Now the next thing I want to do is click on the shape button which is the rectangle button is the third button from the left and I'm going to just drag it over those two layers of text I've created. Now in terms of options for this I can go with a solid color or go with a gradient to try and make something a bit interesting I'm going to go with a gradient and the gradient uh, selection functionality in Caden Live it's fairly basic but it's going to do the trick um, just for creating basic graphics for your video. So I've gone for uh, yellow and green and I can edit the mix of yellow and green. I can edit the angle Now the key to getting this to work is these layer uh, buttons on the top right hand side of the screen You can set a custom Z index or you can manually lower and raise the layer now if we're looking at a typical lower third we're going to want to have the gradient beneath the text so what we're going to do taking the text we've just created lower it and there you go we have now our sort of lower third now again just to emphasize this is clearly not a wonderful lower third it's just for demonstration purposes but just simply using this functionality of adding text and adding shapes and you could also add an image there is an image uh, option here uh, for example you could have your uh, youtube channel's logo or your news station's logo put that to the left uh, you get the idea you can also edit the uh, transparency of the layer of a particular layer you're working with on video. Um, and then once you have these in place, um, it's possible to rearrange the lower third. So let's say I wanted to move the presenter slightly up a bit. I wanted to put my guest interview to the right offset. Or let's say I wanted to make the background to the lower third stretch all the way. Lower thirds typically don't take up an entire third of the screen, I think. But if you did want to make it that much bigger, you could go for something like this. Or cut off here. Now in terms of um, editing the uh, the shape of this you just have to make sure if you look at those little red dots those are um, outlining the border of the layer that we're grabbing under our cursor so uh, that's how you know that you're selecting the right thing. Again uh, if you play around with these you can get it to the point where for instance because we've lowered the text um, and the text is what highlighted we've now hidden the text under the background uh, and if we just repeat that by clicking up we're going to undo that selection and that's pretty much it I think for creating basic lower thirds using Caden Alive. So just to repeat and summarize firstly create your text by clicking on the text icon then you want to drop in a rectangle or um, 
And a rectangle is actually the only shape you can do. Uh, but you could also, for instance, design something a little bit more interesting in an image editing software and then import an image if you wanted to have a more customized shape. Um, and then you want to simply arrange the, la the layers correctly. So you're going to want to have your lower third background beneath the text. And you do this with these arrange icons that I'm waving uh, my cursor with in the top right hand corner of the screen. Hope that was useful. If you're trying to use Caden Live and you want to create some lower thirds for your videos, uh, this is how to do it. Uh, more videos about Caden Live in the playlist on this YouTube channel.